One thing I noticed yesterday when I was doing my battery bank uh, refit and clean up is these alternating rusty connectors. And you can see that the positives, yellow, have rusted and the negatives, well, much less so. Now, I'm assuming that this whole thing would be wet a lot of the time because the rain will fall on it. So this looks to me like it's um, almost like electroplating or certainly based on a current flow between the positive side and the negative side of each of these connections and I've seen this somewhere else. Now let's just remember positive is rusty. Yeah this big marine grade uh, battery which unfortunately I let discharge and then left it for six months and it's it's now had it it won't uh, it won't charge this one has got these connectors oh the lighting is not very good hold on yes this one has these fairly cheap sort of clamp connectors and you can see on the negative here this one is rusted away to nothing I mean it's it's in a terrible state and yet the positive one is completely free of rust now I know that this battery will very often, because it rains a lot here in the UK, have water running across as a sort of connection. So yes, there would be an electrolysis or an electroplating type process going on where current is flowing, probably a very small current because um, water doesn't inherently have a lot of conductivity and it's the minerals in it that provide, or the salts that provide that conductivity. But yeah, very interesting. And here it's the negative that's rusted away badly and the positive that hasn't rusted at all. So that's the other way round to those charge controller connections. Really weird. Let's take a look, another, a look at another battery. And that's this one uh, in the nice covered area. And it's very much warmer in here. Today's gone really cold actually. The temperature plunged 10 degrees last night. So here well, again there's some um, rust, oh, that's not going to come off very easily, but there's some rust on the negative but it's not completely over everything and there is some rust on the positive. Now the difference with this battery is that this one stays dry, it never has water sitting as a sort of connection path between pos and neg so there can't be a current flow uh, between these terminals and this one the rust is much more evenly distributed is it, it is a little more extensive on the negative but um, yeah I'm struggling to get my head around why we've got these sort of potential based corrosion issues any ideas <laughs>